I wanted to do a video about VPNs uh, and VPNs in China. So we're currently living in China right now and a VPN is a must have if you want to access things like Google, Gmail, Facebook, Netflix, uh, a bunch of American apps, if you will, because China blocks a lot of them. So what is the best VPN to use in China in 2023? Well, right now it's October 13, 2023. One is called Astral VPN, and another one's called Let's VPN. And I wanted to show the difference between the two and some of the pricing as well. Before we do that, there are some other more well-known brands such as ExpressVPN, and another one is called NordVPN. We also have ExpressVPN, and this does not work in China. So we've tried it, it does not work. This connection just does not go through. So ExpressVPN does not work in China. I've also heard that NordVPN does not work in China either. I have not personally tried it, but from many sources on the internet, this also does not work. So that leads us to Astral VPN, which I believe is the most popular VPN uh, for China. And then there's another one called Let's VPN. It seems like nobody really knows about this. It is actually a very good alternative, and I'll show you why. But first, let's look at the pricing of both of these. So for Astral VPN, the pricing is uh, it's pretty expensive. So it's about $15 a month if you go with one year. And we currently just have the one month because we want to do a month by month trial on these to see which one's the best. So it costs us $30 a month. Um, that's pretty expensive for a VPN service. And now for Let's VPN, you can actually download a free trial. They don't even have a pricing on their on their website, which is lessvpn.world. You have to download the free trial, and then once you get the free trial, that's when you can see the pricing. So right now I am connected to Astral VPN. Um, I can also go here and let's go to renew to see what the price is for Let's VPN. Okay, so next VPN is a lot cheaper. So for 12 months, it cost $53 for the whole 12 months, so a year, whereas this, it's $180. So that is a big difference right there. Uh, but the kicker is, Let's VPN, you can only have it on two devices at once. So if you have multiple, more than two devices, like we do, we actually have to pay this times two. Um, and if you do the math, it's still a little bit cheaper than Astral VPN. So the price, uh, Let's VPN wins in that category. And Let's VPN also lets you have that free trial, as I mentioned. Whereas Astral VPN, you cannot even download it without a uh, without paying for it first, which I don't really like. And also with Astral VPN, once you pay for it, and let's say it's not for you, you cannot get a refund or anything like that. So that's also kind of a negative for Astral VPN in my opinion. Uh, one of the positives for Astral VPN is that it's more of a better known brand. Um, I think it has more brand recognition it seems a little bit more legit. Uh, the website is also a little nicer. And with Let's VPN, you can kind of tell it's definitely done by like a Asian company. I'm not really sure where they're based out of, but the, the translations, the English isn't all that great in my opinion. So I would say Astral VPN is a little more professional. So now let's take a look at the user interface for both of these VPNs. So right now this is Astral VPN. If I can show the app, this is what it looks like. Uh, when you go to connect to a server, you are just presented with like a whole bunch of different ones. Like I don't really know what the difference is between Supercharge 5 and China Optimized, and China Supercharged 6, China Supercharged 4. I'm not really sure which one of those is the best. And there's also these different protocols you can connect with. 
sometimes they don't even really work. I find that Stealth VPN is what I usually use because you can actually see it trying to connect. And some of the other ones, they sometimes don't really connect and they even say it's on. So that's a little weird for me. It's not my favorite interface, but this is what it looks like when you connect to China Supercharge 5, for example. Uh, the recommended one is, I believe it's called Seattle China Optimized, but I can't even really connect to that most of the time. Like it just try and sits on waiting for server. So that is not very user friendly, I think. Um, I like a one, put, one button push to pick what is recommended for you. And that is actually what uh, Let's VPN has. So this is what Let's VPN uses. You can do a switch region right here. You can toggle between full mask or full speed. Uh, I usually have it on full speed and I usually leave it on auto select and I don't need to scroll through any server lists. I just push the button and it's connected and they'll tell you that it's in a Hong Kong uh, region. So right now I'm connected to a Hong Kong server. If I wanted to, I can do a switch region and say go to the United States. And I click on here and then again there's not a big list. It just connects for you. And now it's connected to the United States. So I think this user interface is a lot better. Like there's not a big list that you have to spend time scrolling through. Now let's take a look at a speed test between Astral VPN and Let's VPN. Uh, right now I'm going to connect to Astral VPN. I'm going to select the Supercharged 5. Again, I'm not really sure which one is what the difference is between all the Supercharged versions. I'm just going to pick Supercharged 5 since it's one of the ones I use uh, frequently. So I'm going to open up a incognito window and go to a speed test. So this is speed test Astral VPN China Supercharged 5. And our internet connection is a hard wire. As you can see, our Wi Fi is turned off. So there's not extra variables between Wi Fi connectivity and stuff. So it's a hard wire directly to our computer. And we have a pretty fast connection and behind a VPN that connection usually gets a little bit slower. But it's pretty good, 110 uh, megabits per second using Astral VPN. I think if we were to switch this, let's try a Supercharge 4. Because sometimes you get different speeds with different servers. So just so that we try multiple sources. So this is Astral VPN, China Supercharged 4. And as you can see, China Supercharged 4 is a lot faster. About 200, so it's about double the speed. Uh, double the speed just between picking those two. Um, so it's a bit of a trial and error situation with Astral VPN. China Supercharged 4, if you're using Astral VPN in China, that is the fastest uh, that I am seeing right now. Alright, so I'm going to turn off Astral VPN, and then I'm going to open up a new window. I'm going to turn on Let's VPN, and I'm going to switch the region to Auto Select. Okay. And now I'm going to do a speed test. Speed test with Let's VPN. Let's take that the same, the same app. So Let's VPN is also very fast, 210 megabytes per second. All right, and that is with the full speed. So let's try that. Let's try a full mask and see if there's any difference. So full mask, let's VPN, auto-connected 
to Hong Kong. Let's reload this page to see if there's a difference. Oh wow, okay, so full mask is even faster than full speed, which I guess doesn't make much sense at all because you would assume full speed is faster, but whatever. Okay, full mask is actually faster at 250. So speed-wise, uh, Let's VPN is the winner, at least for today. 250 megabytes per second. Another thing I wanted to mention uh, about Let's VPN is that it doesn't really have a, a sign up process, which is a little bit weird. Uh, you try to sign up and it says we don't allow you to make an account. You have to download the app. You have to download a free trial and then that's kind of how you get an account, which is a little it's a little different than what you're usually up, uh, used to. But as you can see, you do kind of have an account. And as I mentioned before, this is a little, I want to say a little bit sketchier than something like Astro VPN because you can kind of do with Alipay, which is like a Chinese service. So I feel like this company is definitely a Chinese type of company. User management side is definitely not that great with Let's VPN. It's definitely a lot better with Astral VPN. It's more of a traditional, you can sign up, uh, but you do have to pay for it first before you sign up. And there you have it. So I think we like Let's VPN better. It is cheaper uh, and it's also faster. It's easier to use and it connects to all of the devices we need. Uh, MacBook, iPhone, Android. It works on all of those. Astral VPN is more well known. The price is a little more expensive. It is more reputable, I think. The user management is a little better, but the user interface is a little more clunkier. It's not as fast as less VPN. And you have to pay before you try, and you cannot get a refund after you pay. So that is. That's kind of why I like Let's VPN better. You can try it before you buy it.